folks. Today I have been studying up on the Niagara Falls Special Flight Rules area. As you can see, it's really rather simple. So let's give it a try. We'll jump in the cockpit. I'll tell you all about it as we actually do it. Okay, I'm at the airport. I just need to pull the plane out and do a quick pre-flight and then I'll be ready to roll. Tower. Touches tower, 547 Tango Julia, ready for departure, intersection, runway 6. November 547 Tango Julia, Dutchess Tower, good morning, runway 6, I go, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, and we're going via far northwest. Good. All right, so today it's just Lily and I going to Niagara Falls. Okay, so Lily's all set up. Okay, so we are now ready to try the Niagara Falls Special Flight Rules area. This is one of a handful of air spaces in the country that have some very specific rules. And the rules really are simple. We have to stay above 3,500 feet and we have to report our position on a common frequency, 122.05. And that's really it. So, um, oh, the last rule is as you circle around the falls, there's a specific track you're supposed to follow, and it's a uh, right-hand turns, and it's kind of a horseshoe-shaped uh, track, or kind of an oval track. And so this is what I'm gonna do. Okay, so today is a unusual camera setup. Because we're falls is going to be on the right side of the plane, I had to redo my camera setup. So I have the Opkix camera here, so whatever I'm looking at, this is going to capture. The 360 camera up front is going to capture almost everything else. The iPhone back here should hopefully get some good stills. This GoPro is going to be running and this one's going to be running. This one will have a tiny bit of the propeller in the shot. This one will have the wing in the shot. So hopefully I, that'll give me some editing options and some uh, things to play with. So we're almost there. Buffalo Approach, Cirrus 547 Tango Julia, level 6500. Cirrus 547 Tango Julia, Buffalo Approach, Niagara, altimeter 3061. 3061, 7 Tango Julia. Alright, so that's an important part of the procedure. You have to have the altimeter setting for Niagara Airport, Airport and that's exactly what the Buffalo controller gave me. So I'm set. Cameras are all powered up and ready to go. Here's 7 Tango Julia, you're familiar with the procedures over the falls? Affirmative. Alright, if you want, you can uh, change over to the pilot, pilot frequency 122.05. Just give me a call when you're done. Okay, over to 122.05. We'll call you back when we're done. And just as a heads up, I don't see anybody in there at this time. Excellent. Got the place all to myself. Okay, all the cameras are rolling. Just gonna let it run. There we go. Now we're slowed down. To where we need to be. And I think I see the falls. Big smoke over there. All right, so we are in Canada now, very briefly. So I am looking for a railroad track. And as soon as I see a railroad track, I am gonna turn. I see the falls, but I don't see the railroad tracks. 
falls traffic. Blue Cirrus is just south of the falls. Northbound will be making right traffic. Probably not the right call. Right traffic really. Okay, I see the falls and I see the Rainbow Bridge. And now I think I see the railroad tracks. Okay, there we are. It's right there. <laughs> How beautiful. Falls traffic, uh, Blue Cirrus at the Rainbow Bridge. How crazy cool is this? If you want to try to do this flight yourself, be sure to check out the link in the description below. That's where I learned how to do it. If you like this video, don't forget to hit subscribe, or maybe it's over there, or wherever the button is, just make sure you hit it.